In this video, you are going to learn how to use two mics at the very same time for recording in PC. Coming up. Hi everyone, I am Harsh Vardhan and welcome to another superb episode. In this video, I'll show you how you can use two mics at the very same time for recording purpose. If you have two mics and if you want to use both of those mics at the very same time for recording purpose, then this video is for you. In order to use both the mics at the very same time, you have to go to the Google and search for a software which is called the voice meter. So just search for that and probably the first result would be the VB audio voice meter. Just click over here and it looks something like this and you need to download this either zip package or you can download the Note .xe which is an installer. Just download it and install it. So once you will install it, you need to restart your PC. After restart, you have to type in voice meter in your desktop app so you need to find this app and just click it and this is how interface would look like okay so over here you have to select your first mic so in this case i have two mics one is a blue yeti microphone and the second one is the iRig mic hd so on first i have selected this mic already so see you can select this mic if you have not already selected so you need to select the, your first mic over here and in the second one you have to select your second mic all right and in this case i have selected a yeti stereo microphone and thereafter on the third one you don't have to select anything and you can see these waves or voice waves which you won't notice until you select this fourth option which is the hardware output so on this if you click on this you have to select any of the these speakers or microphones which is not working okay because if you select your main like in this case the real text speakers if i select this one then it would start to give me the echo which i don't want okay so if you want to avoid this make sure you select something else like this real tech digital output which normally doesn't work okay so how would you find whether this is working or not or which is the name of your mic over here so you have to come down on the bottom over here in this speaker icon just right click and select these sounds and a new dialog box would be opened over here and you need to come over here on the playback and in the playback you will see your default speaker so this is your default speaker this is your sound output default device okay so you can select any of the other devices for this purpose on the third option on the hardware out which is not working maybe amd hdmi or real tech digital output which i have selected for this purpose and if you want to see which is the name of your mic go to the recording and you can see your mics would be listed over here so in this case i have selected microphone iric hd over here and on the second one i have selected this blue yeti microphone okay so you have to select both of these and thereafter once you will do this you will start to notice these peaks you can control the output of these mics as well you can lower them down or you can up them as well so if you want to lower down any of the mics volume you can do that as well all right so let me go to the by default option which is over here and you can see this is the master output and this is the final output you can see and if you want to check whether you are getting the proper sound you can change it to your headphone as well so that you can hear your sound whatever you are speaking so that you know that what you are saying all right so this is how you can use the two mics at the very same time and somehow if it doesn't work for you or you don't get the sound first of all again go to the sounds by clicking on the speaker right clicking and selecting sounds and in the recording option make sure there is a voice meter output and right click and select as default device all right 
because this is already a default device so if you will get this kind of option once you will select this and then you need to click on this set as default all right i have already set this as default and thereafter you need to press ok and it would hopefully start to work but if it doesn't you need to restart your pc and then you would be able to use both the mics at the very same time for recording purpose all right so if you go to your recording software in this case i'm using the streamlabs obvious and over here in the mic option if i click on this setting icon and select the properties and over here make sure you select the voice meter not your irig hd your one of the mic but you have to select the output as voice meter output otherwise you won't be able to get the sound from both the mics all right so you have to select the voice meter as your default mic in your recording software which is very important so thank you so much i hope you have enjoyed today's episode if you did hit the like button if you did not like the video hit the dislike button if you have any question or if you want to say something you can leave that in the comment section below so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider so because over here you will find lots of photography and photo editing tutorials on the regular basis